Hello and welcome to Zanata Consulting's Beginner Series. This is our series on Zoho WorkDrive. And today we're going to talk about setting up folders, team folders and general folders. My name is Brett Martin. And I'm Tyler Colt. And I'll go ahead and jump right into it. Um, so here we have WorkDrive pulled up kind of at this default page. It's always going to surface once you open up the application. And to go ahead and add a team folder, as with many things in Zoho, there's more than one place to do it. Um, you can either do it here just from this homepage on your team folders, where you would just click plus to add one. You can also do this under your uh, trusty admin panel here. And under the admin panel, we have kind of a list of all of our team folders and the ability to create a new one as well. Um, there's really no difference in where you create these other than if you wanted to maybe make some edits to other team folders while you're making a new one, you know, maybe remove some users from this one and add them over here. Um, in this case, I'll go ahead and create it here from the admin panel. And oftentimes I think this is valuable because uh, we've gone to add team folders in the past and there's something similar or something, you know, and you see, so you might want to take a look at what you have already. Yeah, you might have one for sales and now you want one for sales managers and collateral for sales agents. <laughs> and so you need to take some people out, put them somewhere else. Um, so I'll go ahead and, and make our team folder here. And let's say I wanted to make one for, you know, just general, maybe PDFs, things like that, that salespeople need access to, to be able to quickly download and send out to potential clients. Um, so you can actually go ahead as you're creating these and assign them the default sharing permissions. Um, so you can make it either public where anyone who's part of your Zoho One or Zoho WorkDrive organization can view this. Um, an example of that is at Sonata, we have a bunch of different uh, digital backgrounds for your Zoom calls. We just make that a public folder. Anybody who has access to WorkDrive can go ahead and download those. In this case, maybe you want to have your sales collateral be specifically for the people who need to see it. Um, so we'll go ahead and make it private. I'll give this a description here. And I'll go ahead and just name it, you know, what we want to use this for. So from there, I can go ahead and create our folder. First thing it's going to do is ask us who should be a part of this. Of course, using this Zen Auto user that I'm logged in now, they're automatically going to be added as an admin. And now there are kind of different ways that you could go ahead and add people into this uh, folder. So one of them would be to add them manually, right? So I could go in and say, I'm going to add Ben Otta and that's it, just this one user. Another way that you might want to do this is by adding a team or group to this folder. Um, so the advantage of doing this, and you can check out our previous video where we walk through, you know, how to set up your different users and groups. A big advantage to adding this based on the team is that if you have five or six different folders that need to be shared to that sales team, if you add a new member, you don't need to go and share every single folder to that person. You could just add them to that team or that group. And from there, you'll be good to go. And, and the rest of the sharing is taken care of for you. So we highly recommend setting this up because it's just going to save you time down the line. Yeah. And conversely, perhaps someone, uh, leaves the sales team and goes into the marketing team and they don't need to have access to this anymore. You can just take them out of the sales team and they'll no longer have access. Exactly. And now as you're actually adding these in, you can set what types of permissions people should have that are on this team. Um, in this case, you know, maybe if we're adding the sales team, maybe we don't want them editing the collateral. We, we don't want someone to add an extra discount onto something and, and, you know, have it sending out to people. So maybe we just want to allow people to view and comment. Um, one thing to note is as you kind of go up this list, each one will contain what the previous ones can do. So commenter can comment and view, editor can edit, comment and view, and, and so on and so forth. You do want to be careful with giving admin permissions because that will actually give them the ability to delete. Uh, so generally you want to go ahead and, and lock that down just for the people who really need to see that. It is nice to see the work drive has such nice granular permissions that you can assign, you know, more than more than most team sharing folders kind of thing. I mean, mm -hmm. at least one or two more. And it's, it's kind of nice, the ability of the granular level of, of control you can give on these. Absolutely. And so from there, we'll go ahead and add our sales team here as uh, with the ability to both view and comment. Um, from there, of course, we could edit this later if we change our minds. Um, but as a baseline, that'll go ahead and get us started. And so from here, and go ahead and back out to our team files. And now we have our sales collateral. 
team folder here that we can add new documents to and have them automatically shared to the right people. And so now that we have our team folder created, um, we can go ahead and set up some additional settings around this outside of just you know the name and the basic permissions. Um, so up here at the top under the Manage tab, uh, we can go into Settings. And there's kind of some key ones here that you want to keep an eye on. So as a quick overview, you know it'll give you your team folder details, kind of a top down of what it's called, what members are in there, when things are being created or modified. Of course, another view with more granularity and edit permissions around your members. And then the big one here is the settings. Um, so if you'll remember, we did set up this team folder type when we created the document but we, or the folder, but we can always change it later. Um, a couple additional settings that are good to know about is, you know, can we upload files directly to this via email? Um, so if you actually turn this on, it'll give you an email address that you can go ahead and just forward things to. The attachments will get dropped into this folder. Um, from here, you know, we can turn this off. You can also change, you know, which location if you wanted to create a subfolder. It'll add one automatically for email attachments, but you can change that after the fact. I'll go ahead and turn that off for right now. Um, a big one here as well is should files or folders be able to be shared outside of the people that have access to this folder? By default, this is gonna be on, but if things are really private and super important to keep them that way, uh, you would wanna turn this off. Another big one as well, by default, people with a viewer role or view only access will be able to download files. Uh, if you want to disable people um, from being able to download, you can go ahead and turn that off here. And then one last little one is if you want to automatically convert any like external file types to a Zoho file, you can have it do that for you automatically. Uh, so that would basically be like converting an Excel sheet to a Zoho Sheets sheet or a you know Microsoft Word document to a Writer document. Just a preference thing that you can you can decide per team folder. What I love about this is if you look at Google Drive specifically, it's for everything. It's not on a folder by folder basis. And this is super mm -hmm. nice. You can have a folder where you can keep the originals. Um, and then you can have a folder where they're automatically converted. And it's a super helpful feature. Exactly. Um, one last little thing that is kind of nice to see is you can actually get a full audit log of all activity inside of this file. Um, so if you ever have like a file that gets deleted and you know no one's taking the credit for it, um, you could actually pull up an audit log and see all of that and export it as well. And then lastly, if you have created any external shared links for this, they'll all be visible here under the external sharing tab where you can disable those links or you know, remove them completely if they should no longer be live. Now, one last thing, just as a quick bit of visibility so you kind of see it, uh, we have this general folder and this is a public folder, meaning anyone inside a work drive can you know, access the files that are in here. Now, the difference is, when you have something that's not public, it'll have that little lock icon next to it. Uh, just as a little visual indicator that this is not shared by default to every single person in the organization. And that's setting up team folders inside of Zoho WorkDrive. Thanks for watching our tutorial and we'll see you next time.